Brazilian football legend Pele was laid to rest on Tuesday at a vertical cemetery following a 24-hour wait held at the Urbana Caldera Stadium, the home ground of Pele's former team Santos. Tens of thousands of Brazilians lined along the streets as Pele's casket carried by a fire engine arrived for a private burial service at the Memorial Necropoli of Comenic Cemetery, which is the tallest vertical cemetery in the world, with 14 stories high. As Pele's coffin embarked on an emotional final journey through the city, crowds were seen gathered near Canal 6, the home of Pele's 100-year-old mother, Celeste Arantes. Pele's youngest sister, who was also seen on a balcony, where she bid farewell to her brother and appeared to gesture her thanks to the crowd. Many have hailed the life of a player who exploded into the world scene as a 17-year-old at the 1958 World Cup before going on to have a spellbinding career as a sports leading icon. He's an athlete of the century and he was a great player, the best in the world. I'm 86 years old and have followed his games ever since the 1958 World Cup held in Sweden, said Amelia Ferreria, who joined with other fans to cheer and sing Pelé's name. The football legend was buried at the ground floor of the cemetery, which will make it easier for fans to pay tribute to him, according to Pelé's family. The soccer superstar chose his final resting place by himself and was said to have remarked that he liked the spot as it didn't look like a typical cemetery and gave him a sense of spiritual peace and tranquility. Luis Inacio Lula da Silva, who was sworn in as president of Brazil on Sunday, had earlier arrived to pay tribute at the memorial held at the Urbana Caldera Stadium. Perry, whose given name was Edson Arantes Nascimento, died at Sao Paulo's Albert Einstein Hospital on Thursday at the age of 82 after a battle with colon cancer. Considered by many as the greatest footballer of all time, Pele is the only player to win the World Cup three times, having lifted the sport's most prestigious trophy in 1958, 1962 and 1970.